writers, my name is Brittany Wang. I'm an author of an upcoming YA fairy fantasy series, and today I'm giving you a tour of my writing space. Okay, so as many of you know, I became a full-time writer this past year, which meant I was going to be home a whole lot more. And so I decided I needed a space that was more conducive to writing and being productive. And our office, and I'll throw a couple pictures up here on the screen to show you how it started out, was just not the best. Frankly, the space was just too cluttered and unorganized, and every time I tried to start working, I ended up on the couch or somewhere else in the house instead of the office. So I knew that I needed to switch some things up, I also needed to make it work for both me and my husband because we share this space. And as I was doing all this, I also needed some inspiration. So I got on YouTube, started looking at some office tours and writing space tours. And when I finished everything up, I was like, how fun would it be to record my own and hopefully inspire some of you in the process. So are you ready to see what's in my writing space? Let's get to it. First of all, because we don't have kids yet, Ben and I are lucky enough to have a whole room free for our office. It isn't very big, so the first thing I did recently was repaint it a brighter, creamier white color to make it feel bigger and more peaceful. Then to organize the space, I separated it into three main zones, our bookshelf, our desk, and a reading slash organization nook. Let's start with the bookshelf. Now let me tell you, this was a project. I think I seriously reorganized the books and items on it like five times before I settled on this rainbow bookshelf theme. We have our nonfiction books at the top and then the fiction books closer to the bottom. I sifted through a ton of Pinterest and Instagram posts to learn how to get the right balance of color and I really wanted it to not only look nice for me but also because it is the backdrop of my YouTube videos. If you're trying to accomplish a similar look, I actually have a whole Pinterest board on my profile and I'll link that below in case you want to check it out. I also wanted this space to be a balance of pretty and practical. So while I included some display items like my grandmother's old typewriter and my Harry Potter wand we got last year at Harry Potter World, I'm also storing craft items that I use for my bullet journal and use to be creative in different ways than writing. I actually just got back from the J.R.R. Tolkien exhibit in New York City with my husband yesterday and had no idea he also used art tremendously to inspire and shape The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So if you also enjoy different forms of art like I do, we're both in good company. I also purchased a bunch of these magazine file holders from Amazon to hide some less pretty things like scrap notebooks and even book covers I don't want to display. I really love these and I'll link these in the description below too if you find these helpful. And then at the bottom I just put some more books that didn't really fit my theme so they're sort of hidden a little bit along with my novel binders and series bibles and also my book bows. Finally, on the side of my bookcase, I attached a small whiteboard with a Velcro command strip where I keep track of my day's schedule. And I've also been really enjoying keeping notes on a clipboard as I brainstorm for my books. So I used a command hook to keep my clipboard ready to grab at a moment's notice, but off my desk. Speaking of my desk, here I have two IKEA desks facing each other so Ben and I can chat while we work at the same time. And we also got these chairs from IKEA too. Can you tell we love IKEA? We also finally put up one of the maps we got from the Hobbiton movie set that we went to last year in New Zealand. This one is of the Shire and every time I get discouraged writing my fantasy novel, it really inspires me to keep going. Then on my desk, I've been trying to keep it fairly clear and clean with just a lamp, some of my Instagram props that are pretty, a picture of Ben and I, my speakers and laptop, and my pen holder that I got from Home Goods. and look how it spins, I love it. Then inside the desk drawers is where everything not so pretty but necessary lives. I've used an old utensil holder from our first kitchen to help organize along with some zipper pouches that hold things like my earbuds and other smaller items I don't wanna get lost in the mix. Then under the desk, I keep a small basket with more of my camera gear and my headphones. For the rest of the room, I definitely wanted a little reading nook and some of our other items in a way that I would actually like to look at them and would inspire me. Over to the left, we have another bookcase from Ikea, surprise, surprise, which I eventually want to sort of style and look more like these pictures, but we'll get there. And then above we have some shelves that Ben put up and here I'm displaying some of Ben's collectibles along with our recording microphone and a plant. 
Seriously guys, I've realized plants go a long way in making a space feel more put together and homey. And for someone without a green thumb like me, fake plants are the best. Then there's my reading nook, which I am in love with. When I need a break from writing, I just hop over here and spend some time reading and relaxing. I might eventually get a slighter, taller chair, but I can actually cross my legs in this one, which I really like, and I just wanted a small side table and my guitar nearby. And then above is more shelving with my older bullet journals and some odds and ends that are again, just inspiring and uplifting. Again, home goods is the best. So if you're looking for items like these, definitely check it out. Finally, you're probably wondering where all my junk went. Well, thankfully we have a closet. So we have our filing cabinet in here, also from Ikea, and other bins to organize things that we just don't need to be out. I also hung this organizer on the back of the door to hold a lot of our wires and smaller electronics. If I don't wanna see it, I just keep the door open. So while I have aspirations to be a super minimalist, don't feel intimidated, I'm still working on it. That closet definitely needs to be tackled. All in all, I am incredibly happy with the result. It took a long time and definitely went in stages, but now that it is so much more put together, I find myself continually wanting to be in here to write, read, and just get inspired. After watching this, if you feel inspired too and wanna to check out any of the items I talked about in this video, remember they are linked in the description below. And if you have any other organizational hacks you wanna share, please let me know in the comments and I'm sure everybody else will appreciate them too. Also, if you love this video, I would so appreciate if you would give this video a like. And if you wanna see more Writer Life videos like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it so you don't miss anything. And if you can't wait for a new video, don't forget I have a bunch of my videos and resources organized into a resource library on my website for you to find the exact writer help you need. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next week, happy writing.